From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. A restaurant opened in London this week that specializes in airline-style food. Which, of course, begs the question, why? President Trump has a red button on his desk that he can push to have a White House butler bring him a Coke. Coke? Oh, I thought it said nuke! A brand of hash brown potatoes is being recalled because they may contain pieces of golf balls. Now, If you've ever seen me play, you'll understand how that is possible. Last Saturday, Kenny G decided to treat passengers on a Delta flight to a private mini-concert. Isn't this how air rage incidents begin? Hershey says that it plans to make its candy a healthier treat by removing calories and reducing the candy's size. And there are plans to make those giant king-size treats easier to share or save for later, presumably to discourage customers from eating the whole thing at once. Yeah, <laughs> like that's going to happen. Yeah, here, Dave, I only bought the king size so I could share with you. <laughs> I'm not trying to gross you out or anything, just reporting the facts here. Apparently, a new study says that it is actually good for you to pick your nose and eat what you find. Katharina Ribeck, an assistant professor in the Department of Biological Engineering at MIT, said while snot and boogers may be gross, they're actually full of healthy bacteria that helps protect your teeth. The stuff can also help prevent infection and fight off respiratory infections and stomach ulcers. And Austrian respiratory specialist Professor Friedrich Beisinger added that people who pick their noses are healthier, happier, and likely in better tune with their bodies. He said eating the dry remains of what you pull out of your nose is a great way of strengthening the body's immune system. He added, medically, it makes great sense, and it is a perfectly natural thing to do. ESPN cut over 100 employees on Wednesday. Apparently, sports fans wanted to hear more sports and less political commentary. Gee, who knew? The fifth Indiana Jones movie is happening. Harrison Ford will star, Steven Spielberg will direct. It'll arrive in theaters on July 10, 2020, and is tentatively titled Indiana Jones and the Search for the Geriatric Ward. A new PR nightmare for United Airlines, a giant bunny flying from Britain to its new owners in Chicago died somewhere during the trip. Easter is going to be awkward next year. Nordstrom is selling work jeans that are pre-stained with mud, designer jeans that is, for $425 a pair. If you can afford a pair of $425 designer jeans for work, you're likely not working anywhere where your jeans are going to get stained with mud in the first place. Real laborers don't shop for jeans at Nordstrom. Doctors at a Chinese hospital removed an 8-inch metal spoon from the stomach of an 18-year-old student who accidentally swallowed the utensil. All right, somebody needs to let her know that you don't have to shovel the food directly into the stomach. Setting it onto your tongue and swallowing usually gets the job done. Instagram reached 700 million monthly active users this week. They reached 600 million members four months ago. The oppressive statistic means Instagram has found a way to double its total user base in the last two years. Unfortunately, this also means that there are 700 million people taking useless pictures of food. Including me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. And if you are already an official weirdo, please share this video with your friends. Hey, be sure to join me for my very first official live chat on YouTube. It's coming up Saturday, May 6th at 3 p.m. Central Time. That's 4 p.m. Eastern or 1 p.m. Pacific. We'll do a Q&A, I'll have a giveaway or two, and I might even tell a weird darkness story during the broadcast. That's Saturday, May 6th. I hope you can join me. For more weird news anytime, visit DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!